Hello everyone, this is Dimitri from Nutzers Games and there are some very exciting news if you're using C-Sharp and want to switch over to Godot 4 as soon as possible. It's just... so I can't even believe I'm saying this, but there is support for Android and iOS exports. That's just amazing! Like, this is one of the features that a lot of developers have been waiting for to be able to switch over to Godot 4 it, when they are using, of course, .NET and C-Sharp, because if you're using GDScript, that was possible before. But still, I think this shows that Godot really cares about C-Sharp and is gonna actively keep developing it and supporting it, and is trying their best to keep it on par with the GDScript version. I'm, I'm really happy about this and really excited, but this also makes me a bit sad, because I cannot switch yet over to Godot 4, although I would really wish to. There's one thing that's still missing for us, and that's the web exports. The thing is, the easiest feedback we've gotten up until now is just to create a web build and publish it on itch.io, and people playing there are giving us a lot of feedback, and you don't need to install it, it's just in any browser that's supporting the, you know, the thing, you can just play it. We want to have a web build that's easy for people to access, to play, test out, and give us feedback for. And unfortunately, this is still not possible with the current pre-release experimental version of Godot 4.2 beta something something. And that's just sad because I would really just want to switch over. There's so many amazing features in Godot 4 that we just want to use and it looks even more fun to develop in Godot 4. But unfortunately, we will have to wait a bit. But that doesn't mean that other developers are not gonna switch over now because I've seen a lot of videos from Unity developers that wanted to switch over, experimented and realized that in Godot 4 it's not possible to do the Android or iOS exports and were like, okay, it's the way it is, we'll have to stick with Unity. And that's a little bit sad. I think support for the platforms is very important and of course there's still gonna be some difficulties when, for example, you want to target a platform like Switch, any kind of the console or something like that that is related with a lot of bureaucracy and NDAs and whatever else they are doing. I don't know, we've never ported to Switch or something. But right now, for us, we have something that's just showing us that things are improving. I think also with the God of Foundation, there are gonna be some of the issues resolved around the porting of the console stuff, but um, we didn't take a deeper look at that because we're not targeting console platforms yet. The cool thing is just that we have the Android and iOS support and for Android you need to use .NET 7 to be able to export to iOS you need to use .NET 8. Since this is still an experimental version I was not sure if it's gonna work immediately and I just wanted to try it out for myself and we have here a working Godot game. There's this thing here that's changing colors every few seconds and this is done in C Sharp and it's running on my Android phone. So yeah, it works. And I'm sure that now that the version is out for people to test, that the small few bugs that are gonna be found, they're gonna be solved, and we're gonna have a nice working version, which is gonna have Android and iOS support, and I'm just happy for that. I think this is a good time for Godot developers who are using C-Sharp. So once there's gonna be web export support, we can also switch over to Godot 4, and from then on we're gonna do more content related to Godot 4 and we're also gonna show you the process of porting the game from Godot 3.5 to Godot 4. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff are gonna be coming soon. We're also gonna do a tutorial next week about exporting to Android using Godot 4.2, the experimental beta version. If you want to see that next week, then you can subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, then smash the like button and yeah, we're gonna see you in the next video. Ciao.